This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a custom function here. The custom function is a exclamation point b, and that's equal to a plus b plus a times b. And when you're dealing with custom functions, helpful to remember that there's no special information that you're supposed to bring uh, from the outside, right? This is not factorial. Uh, it's not anything you've ever seen before. It's just totally made up. And it has two inputs. It's got input one, which is the thing on the left, and it's got input two, which is the thing on the right. And everywhere that you have an A, that's supposed to be input one. And everywhere that you have a B, that should be input two. And you just plug in. And at the end of the day, the output will be whatever that evaluates to. Um, now we're asked for something slightly complex here, which is for which of the following values of A is the statement A exclamation point B equals A always true? So first let's generate A exclamation point B equals A. My inputs are A and B. So everywhere that I have an A, I'm plugging in A. Everywhere that I have a B, I'm plugging in B, which means I'll just get what the function is. So I'm essentially going to have that. A plus B plus AB equals A. And it's saying, for what values of A is this always true? So let's continue solving this equation. And we notice that there's an A on both sides, so we can simply cancel that out. And what we're left with is B plus AB equals zero. Now we actually have some experience with this. This is a quadratic equation, and we know how to solve these, which is um, let's factor them. And in this case, I'm going to pull out a B, which ends up being one plus A equals zero. So we have an equation with two variables which are equal to zero. zero. And the question is, what is a solution of this equation? And we know that one of these two things must be equal to zero. Either b is zero or one plus a equals zero. We've been asked about a, so let's solve that side of things. If one plus a equals zero, then a is equal to negative one. And that is answer choice B.